think he wants me. Hey guys, welcome to the Major World of Eden. Ethan Goldton here, and today we're gonna open this incubator we got. Like get snippy. One looks like the top and one looks like the bottom. And then Well I think this got instructions. I think this is what it looks like. So we have the base and mesh with the rail. Then we had the movable egg tray, the egg tray grill. And we, it looks like we set the eggs on top of the egg tray. And voila. All right, so Ethan, why don't we learn how to do it? And then the next thing is waiting for the eggs, right? Yep, patience. Well, the egg incubator arrived early. Maybe your eggs will arrive early, too. We will see. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I have quail eggs here. Let's get snipping. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? 10. 10? Mm -hmm. You did say this was the best day in life. I said the best day of my life. Oh. Bat with better scissors. Yep. Ah, there. Voila. How many we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Whoa, and we only paid for twelve. Yay! Now it's time for incubation. So we're taking out the eggs. Putting them in your incubator, huh? Yep. So we just bought this incubator a few days ago about 50 something dollars on Amazon. It's uh, Janowell 12, pretty simple. This is the, the bottom. We'll place the top on it, which has the heater and the fan. And Ethan, all of these might not hatch. Usually, well, they might not all be fertilized. They might not all be healthy. So if we can get half of these to hatch, it'll be a big success. Because I made a cracking one on accident. You did? Yeah. Ew, so that one's no good. Forget to like and subscribe. So it's we got me. them all in, right? Yep. And now it's time for the water. So we're adding a quarter cup of water to the incubator every couple of days to keep it nice and humid. So the water will be at the bottom and the warm air will move around 
And you can just put it right in there, Ethan. Don't even worry about doing it any kind of way. All right. All right, so every two days we'll add another cup of, quarter cup of water. All right, you're done with that. And this will roll the eggs back and forth. So there's an automatic wheel on the top. It's gonna hook into this part and it's gonna move the eggs around so the eggs rotate and get heated evenly. There! So it looks like it, will it move easily? I think so. All right. And we're gonna put on the top. Hold that, sir. All right, so we've got the top. And then we want it so that we can see the hook part go right in there. All right, close it up. All right, and plug it in. All set. What oh. temperature would it be? 37.5. There we go. Now, just gotta let it heat up. So it's 37 and a half <laughs> degrees Celsius, which will be, I believe, 99 and a half degrees. How many days is this gonna take, Ethan? 16 or 17 days, or 18 days. We will see. Okay, bye guys. It's around four, and one of them is starting to hatch. Hey, so right now, a, a little boy or girl hatched. Baby quail, they're coming. Here, turn on he, the flashlight, let's check at the other eggs. He probably can't breathe in there. No, it's air, it's fine. We have to just let them all hatch out and dry out so he's kind of wet. Yep, so when he's dry... Wait, we don't know if he's a boy or a girl. Let's take him out and see for... Ethan, our... we have to wait for all of them to hatch out first, okay? You serious? Okay. Probably get his other siblings to hatch as well. Oh, I think he wants me. Guys, look, this egg is hatching. I missed. <gasps> oh, we caught him coming out. Excellent timing. <gasps> Got him coming right out the shell. He is, he was born on 644, but now it's 645. Brock was born on 3 p.m. Congrats. Aw. So how are you feeling, Ethan? Good. What's your prediction on how many chicks are gonna hatch? Um. Six. And how many eggs did we start with? Wait, what? How many eggs did we have? Fourteen. All right, well, let's see. So we got two, and I think I see a crack in another one. So I think I see a couple more that are cracked. 